I created a school at Salona Beach to bring the beautiful city of San Diego a national champion. And it's become clear that coach Philip Rivers has a lot of work ahead of him to whip this squad into shape. The ESPN four-year championship outlook predicts Salona Beach to be dead last in the FBS. Tony Hawk knew what he was getting into when investing into this program and didn't expect an overnight miracle, but he wants to see improvement throughout the remainder of this inaugural season. As much as the fans love $10 ticket prices and free scrub daddy sponges, I think they love winning even more. Through the first three games, the Salona Beach sponges are 0 and 3, and the sponges got blown out in the Battle of the Beaches against Coastal Carolina. Fresh off the sting of defeat, former flag football club founder and now senior quarterback for Salona Beach, Dylan Wave, is one week away from returning to the team after suffering a broken toe. That means we're going to have to give redshirt junior Finn Sherman another crack at starting quarterback. Finn was able to log a few practices in this week with the first string guys, and he's feeling pretty good. Let's just hope he is locked and loaded, ready for the Roadrunners this week. After just three games, Philip Rivers has decided to open up his play book to incorporate a little bit more of a military school philosophy, stating that clock control, the option, and a balanced attack might give us a better chance going forward, and well, a better chance from getting blown out, that is. The sponges are top heavy with seniors, and normally that is a scary situation for most schools, but in our case, it might actually help us out. We need fresh talent to throw into the deep and see what sponges sink or swim. Remember, we can't recruit anyone from a state that does not border an ocean. With that in mind, we're really trying to woo over Brandon Moore, who's a frequent visitor to the Jersey Shore. He's an athlete that can play quarterback, receiver, or running back. And as a true freshman, he might just slot in at number one in the depth chart. Alex Brown, a defensive end right here from California, has above average intellect, play recognition, and a solid skill set to get past blockers. So far, dead last in offensive points per game. But we're headed back to Salona Beach for this one against the Roadrunners. We're wearing the all black alternates today. The sponge is ready for vengeance. They are 0-3. They just want one win. And Finn is going to have to lead these guys forward. Absorbent field just a few minutes away from the Salona Beach. And as you can see, we still have a half-packed crowd. For all those that are in attendance, they got their free scrub daddy today. And back in black, let's kick off game four with the shoulders, getting the kick return, bouncing off one guy putting a nifty chook on another. With a change in philosophy, we'll see how this helps our squad. And uh, Sherman's just gonna keep this one himself, but the running back couldn't give us a block. I was hoping he'd cover there. It's important for us to set the rhythm with a good opening drive. And Sherman breaks free of one sack, but couldn't escape out of that one. Getting our first crack at defense. We're in a bad position here, and he's just glitching out. That helps us. Second and 14. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna chase him down with Brown. Stop him for nine yard gain. Third and five. Going short to Clark and we just whiff two guys whiff on that tackle letting him get a big play what in the world he's just mowing us mowing us up the middle second and nine for cam brown and this sponge defense we need to make a play cam brown he just gets bounced off of what the heck frank harris got some muscle or something let's send in the thunder green and blitz up the middle here barnes just gets right through it well shoot i'll be darned for a bottom ranked offense the roadrunners just annihilate us on defense and score easily first and 10 let's start with a little over the middle to perkins there we go second and inches i'm just going to dump this one out to rock boston he makes the catch puts a stiff arm on rock boston the criminal justice major is going to have to be a big part of this offense going forward and we're going to go cross our body finding shoulders nice play if finn sherman can hang around in this game i think that would go a long way from helping his cause brutal another drive just stalls out on us we're forced to punt it well you haven't missed much of importance here we're down 19-0 only mustering up 46 total yards compared to their 250. first and 10 gonna throw it outside to rock boston he holds on second and two let's go to our outside man here what a snag first and ten in a little bit of desperation mode we're gonna go deep we have a man he has a step game in breaks a tackle and that's a touchdown for the sponges let's go a little glimpse of hope from finn sherman as he throws a really nice ball over the defender right into the window for a big six. Third and three after that touchdown a big stop here would go a long way to help us and well help us please oh fumble and they recover their own ball. Another big third down opportunity for us to make a stop, make a play. And we cannot make that play. Well, it's just about over in this one. Fourth down. Let's see if we can get any brownie points on this play. We're going to go across to Gaiman. He hauls it in. It just felt like in this one, there really wasn't much of an opportunity for us on any side of the ball. We just got outdone on every aspect of the game. Defense, offense. We couldn't muster up enough. Why not? Just last gas. Throw up a Hail Mary for good old sake. Gaiman tried to come back to it, but yeah, 
it's out of reach. It's going to be a step in the right direction the day that we can score more than two touchdowns in a game. We had to remove a few guys from our board that we were losing the race on. So I'm going to add a couple more guys. And out of these three star players right here that I'd like to recruit, I can only recruit Douglas because uh, Stallings and McBride are from states that do not border an ocean. We got a rainy one up next at Colorado State. Let's see if the sponges can soak up this rain and maybe deliver an all around performance today. All right, opening drive for the Rams. Let's see if the sponges can soak it up. And that's a big sack to start this game off. Just wiping his way through the defender, tracking down the QB, it's over. Third and 14, we know a pass is coming. We got the cover three out there. And yes, we make the stand. And what a breath of fresh air. You see that right, Dylan Wave is back making his return for the sponges scrambling out he's got a receiver and he throws a wobbly <laughs> inaccurate ball second and 10 let's shake that one off let's get another chance here and uh great third and 22 just need to dial up something to get a lot of these yards back and that might do shoulders couldn't hold on the defense might have come to play today as we're holding them to another third down can we make them punt Yes, what a stop. It's been hard to rely on, but let's start off with the run game, see if we can get anything going. Second and four, see what shapes up. We got the running back over the middle. Horde makes the catch. Sponge is still looking for that ever elusive first school win. And let's see if Brent Martin and the Sponges can get a nice sustaining drive on this one. To me, it feels like slants is a good call here as someone should be springing open. And I see him, but... That ball on the run was just so inaccurate. Remember, Kai Smallwood doesn't have a small leg. He should have a big leg, enough to shank that one. Rams at midfield, third and five. Let's see if the defense can keep us in this game. And he was close to that ball, but didn't spring in to make a play. In a rainy game like this, I think we have more chances than normal to step up and make a play. Second and goal. Got some slants across here. I'm... I read that like in, in Madden with the 10 foot vertical jumps and, and lurking, like that would have been a user lurk. I was literally in that direction, headed that way. Anyways, let's try to get some points before halftime and that's a good start. Third and 10, let's drop this one off to Brent Martin in the flat. He has been a yak machine breaking tackles. Second and 10, Kenny's shoulders looks open, just past midfield. We got a nice little drive going here. And okay, I don't want to really say that's my fault because look at this replay. The receiver stops running his route. Look, if he just kept going, he was open. He would have had a little window there. Thankfully, the defense comes through for us, so we're not out of it yet. And Horde puts a spin move on. What a first down. There we go. Just got it off in the face of pressure. Perkins pushes his way forward. Third and inches. I feel like the triple option's got to be a good choice for us. And... No, they are stacking the box on this one. Let's just get it off. Flick it to Horde. Use them legs. First and 10. A bit of a blitz coming. Horde, our running back, picks it up. Pushes his way through for eight. I didn't remember Dylan Wave being this inaccurate, honestly. Fourth and two. We got the hands team out here for this play. We just need someone to secure it for us. And Horde does secure it for us. Keeps his legs churning. Second and 10. There we go. Up the middle looks open. Bundy's got it. First and goal. We're knocking at the door. Second and goal. What's it going to be? Brent Martin coming down in. <laughs> oh, he had it in his hands and he had six if he just secured it. This has been a killer drive right now. We just need to. Oh, I had a guy. And are you serious? Are you really serious right now? All that hard work before half for nothing. Thankfully, we get the ball to start this half, and maybe we can make it a much better half. Second and 10, we got a crosser right here. Gaiman just throws a man down, gets the first. See what we can get going. Shoulders, are you going to make that snag? Yes, sir. We have been needing the track star to get more involved, and Brent Martin's got some space. He's going to put on a move for 16. Third and 10. Can we keep the drive alive? I throw an absolutely dangerous ball. I don't know what I was thinking. Fourth and 10, not enough leg to get the field goal. We just need a big play here. And the curl flats, shoulders holds on. I don't see why not. Curl flats have been working. Let's just keep it going then. All right, this time we should be close enough. And as long as I don't botch this, hit that baby. Oh my goodness, didn't have the leg to hit a 36 yard field goal. Maybe Kai, you do have a small leg. We have been three for three on fourth down conversions. I'm just gonna try it again. He dropped it last second. He had it. No. This is dangerous. Aff. Fourth down in our own end zone. 
Thankfully, we convert. Third and nine. We are moving it slowly but surely. Let's hit the curl flat. Brent Martin shrugs one off, makes a nasty move. An abysmal three out of 12 times have we converted on third down. Thankfully, Shoulders redeems himself there. Kenny Shoulders, the track star, down and for the count. Thankfully, Shoulders is only gonna be out for one quarter, which will be the rest of this game, but he should be back for next week. Thank goodness. Timmins, can you do something for me? Another third and 10. Nothing looks too open at the rip, but the running back is getting something there. It's sad, yes, but the reality is I haven't been able to trust our kicker at all in these conditions. Lovely. They should nail this, get a two possession lead, and we're gonna fall again to another opponent. Fourth and inches anything on the table here let's just throw it deep see if brent martin come back for it nah hardridge is the one that comes back for it makes the pick vamos sponges onward to north texas looking to be much more efficient this week around we're gonna start with a curl flat to brent martin and we like that play spreading out our receivers third and ten it needs something to hit and this little ch check down well he dropped it jamori macklin lining up there number nine for the mean green offense and uh, we nail this quarterback for a sack sorry jamori it's nothing personal but i'm trying to clamp you guys down today with the sponges uh, you'll see in a future vid, I have Jamori Macklin's input, but what the heck are we doing? Add away the third, breaking down the field. Tell me that's coming back. <laughs> what the heck? The Eagles got so disappointed to just walk through a wall. Third and 17. I just throw a cover four up. He's coming back for it. Why is he so open to get that play? Oh my gosh. Third down, or first down, sorry. Burns up the middle, just plugging his way through. Big 19, hole after hole, gaping play after gaping play, man. First and goal touchdown here we go first and 10 let's hit it out to perkins he holds on dylan wave dropping back to survey the field he goes outside he's got kenny shoulders second and one play action looks like perkins had a little bit of room there no he didn't let's just be real he didn't i really haven't wanted to waste your time showing you much of this one because it's been a blowout third and 10 a little flat here to shoulders just wave and shoulders not on the same page that's just been the story of the season so far perkins though Getting us right down to the goal line. Third and goal. Over the middle, I see someone. Make a play. Perkins reaches for that one. That's a touchdown. Dylan wave to Perkins. That is hard to come by, but we do score an elusive touchdown there. Let's go. There has been no questions for the North Texas faithful, and uh, they're just putting it, putting it on us, man. Mean green all over the place. San Diego State has had it easy here in San Diego being the only team, but now a new rivalry is born with Salona Beach looking to be the premier and go-to San Diego school. But honestly, it might be a minute until Salona Beach is in the conversation because the Aztecs, well, they're still a better team for now and for the foreseeable future. Aztecs are three and three on the season. We're 0 and six, so uh, we're at the disadvantage early as Nicholson just gets a 16 yard gash first and 10 let's get the pressure in there he shakes free of that sack and stiff arms Mahan viciously let me know what you think about the limes honestly I thought the all limes was a little too much so I think the white helps neutralize it out a little but yeah we got the lime the lavender the white the black there's a lot of combinations we can go with so uh, I'm really curious to hear what your favorite one is first and 10 they got a running back in motion it's a handoff anyway I was there but just whiff and Davis runs right through us and he is into the end zone. This is looking brutal early. Okay, well, that's another opening drive with our defense giving up points. But Gaiman breaks free on the first play on offense. He has got a lane. He is headed down the field for a 51-yard catch and run. And just like that, we also mean business. And Perkins says... I also mean business, and we're down into the red zone. Let's see if we can find anyone. Looking across the middle, I saw Brent Martin get open last second, but it was too late. The sack got to us. Big third and 19. I'm gonna go across the middle. That looks dangerous. It's all get out. All right, nothing doing on this drive. Kai, I need you, my friend. Please hit this. Third and 10. Let's see if the defense can settle down here just a smidge. Going for something big, but great defense. That's going to be fourth down. Third and 11. We just want someone. Brent, please make a play for us. He dropped it out of bounds. Brent, you had it in your hands, man. Honestly, it might be a little too early to be this aggressive, but Phillip Rivers and the 0-6 sponges, they have nothing else to lose. They just want something here. And the rivalry game would be a great statement. 
He turned it over. He just couldn't get the extra yard. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, the defense bends, but we don't break as the Aztecs are going to just settle for three. Second and 10. I don't see really anyone open. I mean, wow, what a catch. Oh my goodness. Keep fighting for nine. That was impressive. Third and one. We're going to throw it to the outside. We got shoulders making the catch. Third and seven. Just need someone to come up here. Let's just drop this one down low. Shoulders, thankfully, gets right past the defender. Second and ten here. Brent Martin across the middle of the field. Wide open. Can he keep it? Put chugging down to the first and goal. Second and goal. Going to run a little bit of a slant. Going down low to shoulders. Push. Aztecs stack in the box. Let's see if this play action gets to work. That pressure... I didn't even have a chance to breathe. Let's just take our three once more. Kai cashes it in. Defensive stand here would be massive as we're running cover one. Brooks breaks free, but he makes a tackle just stopping him short. Well, 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 would you look at this? The sponges have an opportunity here. Brent Martin's gonna get us the first down. Maybe Dylan Wave just needed a game to get back into the swing of things because he looks much better in this one. Clock is ticking. Second down. Perkins over the middle. He snags it. First down. This two-minute drill offense has been so encouraging right now. Choosing to hold on to the timeouts. Let's just chew a little more clock. Keep driving. Let's just dump it out for a nice first down to Wheeler. 13 seconds left in the half. I'm gonna go over the middle to Martin. Brent, touchdown. He gives us the lead right before half. And one of the best parts is we get the ball to start off the second half so we're gonna go right back to brent martin first and 10 sprinting out with the qb gonna throw this one down to shoulders he's got a massive lane and he's gonna keep it turning oh my goodness this team is coming alive third and 11 what's it gonna be brent martin looks like he got a opportunity there but that was some tight coverage fourth and 11 i think we're just gonna run the classic deep attack see if something works and that is gonna work shoulders no my goodness man i was just complimenting you guys on offense you had a wide open six the track star is not translating into football with the hands third and 14 massive play here they're just gonna hand off draw and they're gonna settle for three. Snap the kick. He's got the leg. Easy. Second and 10, sprinting out. Um, sure. Ha <laughs> ha. Good one. This game is this close to slipping out of the hands of our guys as we're just crumbling. All the hope that I had and encouragement is pretty much gone. Fourth and three. Rock Boston, you're open. Why don't you make a big play for us? Stiff arm that man, keep it moving. Second and 10, let's just chuck one up. Is that shoulders? He's got the step, this time he comes through. Just like that, don't count the sponges out because we're down within the red zone. I got an opportunity to scramble here. Dylan Wave, got a block. He keeps it in himself. Big touchdown and we're right back within a score. Sponge defense soaks it up, gets the hold and look at this. We're getting a chance with a punt return here to drive down this field, two minute drill. The sponges refuse to back down and we're gonna just take Perkins here to get us some yards. First and 10, looking to scramble out here. We got some room, let's just keep it ourselves. Dylan Wave got the legs, keeps it upfield, moves around a guy. What a nifty move, 28 yards. Third and six, slants maybe something gets open. Brent holds on, does he have enough? Just short, fourth and one, game on the line here effectively. Yep, 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 yep. Timmons, way to go. Way to rumble your way through. Second and goal. Let's look out for our tight ends here. Rock Boston keeps it. Plugs up the middle. Oh, that's not a touchdown. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We're literally at like the inches line here. I'm not going to use our timeouts because I want less time for the Aztecs. But third and goal. Dropping this one to Rock Boston. Ooh. I don't know how they're going to tell me that he was short, but I don't like this call. I'm calling a timeout. Let's get Phillip Rivers on the sideline to draw something up. Okay, this is what we're going with. The pressure looks immense. Fourth and goal. I'm gonna scramble out. I got room. Dylan Wave, six. He's gonna keep it with his legs again, and he has been the benefactor, man. This is some X-Factor type stuff. Big extra point here to tie it up. No problemo. First OT action in sponge history. This is a historic moment for the series. There'll probably be plenty of OT games to come in the years to come. And uh, we want to come out victorious, but Kristen's just going to make us look silly. QB keeper, I called pass because, well, the gun empty there really fooled me. Two plays and the Aztecs are in. Dylan Wave having the game of his lifetime. He would love to top this one off with a dub. And on the run, he finds Perkins getting us down to first and goal. Dylan Wave looking for a slant option. He had a couple guys maybe he could have considered, but we're going to scramble again, getting awfully close. Second and goal, who is going to step up for us? 
Couple options here. Brent moving. Brent's open. Touchdown, Brent. Dylan wave to Brent. That is a crucial score to keep this OT alive. Where has this offense come from? 34 points after musting up like six a game before this. Back on offense for double OT. Rock Boston down below makes the grab. Second and four. Another big overtime drive needed here. Perkins is going to run that man over. First and 10. Play action. There's some pressure coming in. This looks scary. Feels scary. On the run. Had a guy, but the receiver gave up on it. Apparently, I ran out of space. Not sure when my recording just randomly stopped, but it's uh, triple overtime, and Maiden is just continuing to make it look silly out here. Triple overtime rules. You have to go for two. So this could be make or break. If we can get a stop here... This would be incredible. And that was good coverage. It has been a tough ask in itself to keep up on offense, but now we got to keep up even more. Timmons, wave to Timmons as he was getting destroyed. Second and goal, back to the air, across the middle. Looks like Perkins has, would have had it. Third and goal. Let's drop it out to the curl flat. That was dangerous. Oh man, I'm sweating. Fourth and goal, triple overtime. It has been an impressive showing just to get this far, but I would love to keep this thing going. Perkins, triple coverage. We're going to go down to the Aztecs in this inaugural rivalry game, but man, there will be fireworks for years to come in this game. The Sponges have dealt with heartbreak in two games this season already. Very close ones lost in the last moment, but we put up a fight. 41 points out of nowhere in Salona Beach, unfortunately, in the fans. Just heartbroken. Check out Dylan Wave's stat line. 443 passing yards, three touchdowns, and then he added two rushing as well. This lessens the heartbreak just a little bit. Brandon Moore has officially committed to Salona Beach, and this is our first big time recruit. San Jose is next as we try to shake off heartbreak against the Aztecs. We're not even really gonna bother with this game. Look at that score. Y'all don't need to see what's going on here. Just close your eyes, it'll be much better as Rock Boston cashes in for six. But hey, we're only down by 40 now. Traders, Andrew Hall, Ethan Washington, two top corners on our list committed to our rival. Finally headed back to Salona. We got some recruits visiting us as we take on the one and seven Bulldogs. Feels good to be home. Yes, we're 0 and 8, but we got some Salona Beach faithful in the stand still rooting us on. This will be a good test for us as Louisiana Tech's in a bit of a downward spiral as well. One and seven on the season. It's a battle of the basement. Third down here. Hank Bachmeyer looking for something. He's going deep. He's got a man so open out there. Get off the block there. That read option is causing some problems as Hank Bachmeyer looking like Vince Young. Second and goal. It's important for us to protect our turf. So we got to hold it down. And that is a great tackle for loss. Big play. Running a cover three sink here on third and goal. See how it does. I just whiff right by Allen. Thankfully, we still hold him for fourth down. Couple big plays. All they get, though, is three out of it. Fourth and one. I don't care. When you're battling for the basement, you make big calls. And that is a big call as Horde just absolutely slow. Makes his first down, though. Third and ten. This is big. We're going to drop it down to the curl here. Game in. Fighting for the first. Yes, sir. Hurrying it back up to the line. Let's catch the defense off guard with this one. Brent looks so open. Gets hit hard, but he holds on for that big first down. Let's scramble out here. There's a little bit of a zone coverage. Dylan Wave, though, got the leg. Slides down for the first. If Dylan Wave can replicate how he played that one game against the Aztecs, I think we're going to win a ball game one of these days. Second and inches. Looking for someone again. Over the middle looks like Rock. And Rock holds on. What a catch. What a play. Rock Boston stepping up his involvement with the squad. This may be a Salona Beach first as we score on our opening drive on offense. Huge stand on defense turns to more offense as we get a wide open Perkins. He's becoming a favorite target. First and 10 over the middle looks open again. And guess who? It's Perkins. Third and goal. What's it going to be? Scrambling once more. Make something happen. Nah. All right, we're not going to get too greedy in this one because we want a win after all. Tech getting close right outside the red zone. We need to make a stop. And that is not the stop or really anything at all there. That's just a gash touchdown for True Edwards. Hank Bachmeyer gets his team right back in it. Third and seven play action. Just dump it out to Timmons. Nothing going. I wasn't sure what defense was going to show up today, but it looks like the one that's going to give up a lot of points is here to play. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I thought he almost picked it off the field goal post. I guess is this what they mean? The play is not over till the whistle's blown because <laughs> look at our DB. I don't even know, is the play still alive? If it hits the post, it might be, but our DB just wants to make a play. We make a stand at like the one yard line and that's gonna give us a chance to get some offense going. Perkins, there's that man. Second and 10, just want a big play from someone. We got a man and it's gaming. First and 10, driving fast. We're sprinting out once more. Let's go deep to Brent, see what happens. It might be a pick. Yeah, probably should have played it more conservative because we got the ball back to start this half. Third and 16, what's it gonna be? Brent across the middle, bad decision. Well, it's crunch time now, so let's start with a slant to shoulders. Second and six, open up here on the curl. That's gonna be game in and he's gonna get a big play. Third and 10, middle looks open once more. That's Wheeler, who's got some space. He's trying to get down the sideline. He's got an open lane, fighting all the way to the last yard. He is right there, just outside the end zone. Encouraging play here, going across for the slant. I am a doofus, that's a pick. And it's really not like Louisiana Tech's running away with this thing. Second and 10, scramble out a little bit. Yeah, let's do this with our legs. Let's just slide down for a first. First and 10, play action, hurrying up, trying to make something happen. Yep, Perkins, you look open, my friend. Second and 10, on the sprint out. Rock Boston over the middle. Are you kidding me with that pick? Off his helmet and into his hands. Let's challenge that pick, man. We want this ball back. You're telling me he caught that and didn't use like the grass or the ground or anything there. And the ruling is it stands. Huge stand on defense sets us up for something crazy here. Leads to third and 21. Just want some yardage here. We're gonna go over the middle. Perkins is a machine today. Perkins, the senior tight end, literally like the only reason we're still in this game. Brandon Moore is a great recruit to bring in and all, but I really need offensive line help. We're taking our field goal. I am a little worried because Smallwood sometimes has a small wood when he's kicking it, but he's got that one. Third and 10. If we can get the stop here, we'll get the ball back. So this is encouraging stuff to see. Dropping him for a big sack. Sponges, get this ball back. Second and 10 for the sponge crew. Dropping it down for the curl shoulders. Makes the catch over his shoulder. I don't want to sound like a whiner, but uh, Wave's got to be one of the most pressured quarterbacks in the nation. Second and 10. This team's got some heart. We're going outside. Gaming catches it. What a snag. First and goal. Come on. We need some points. And uh, Rock Boston under underneath get in big fella yes touchdown wave and rock connect third in inches i say we bring the house on bachmeyer who gives the handoff draw like i saw that coming a mile away well the sponges just two timeouts remaining we gotta not let anything else happen and well let's just let him score honestly i'm just gonna send everything i got i'm calling a run up the middle nope it's a pass but it's like who cares? Louisiana Tech starting to chew the clock. I'm gonna hold on to our last couple timeouts for as long as I can. I actually just let him score. We are honestly, as sad as it sounds, better off hedging our bets with the offense and our two timeouts to go. So let's get to work. We got a man, Brent, big play. There we go, hurry up, 15 seconds. I still got two timeouts, so I'm keeping that in mind. In the back of my pocket, I found Gaiman. Second and 10, nine seconds left. Who's gonna get open? Sacked. Third and 18. I'm gonna call it the Hail Mary, see if anyone gets open. Why did the ball go that direction? All right, fourth and 18, last play here, Hail Mary. We're gonna go deep for the end zone to Brent, to someone. No one's there, we lose. Heartbreaking again, man, I'm telling you. Three prospects commit to us after that heartbreaking loss, and Adam Allen, Wesley McFadden, Chris Young, get ready, because you guys are gonna be thrusted into a starting role. This is problematic. A black hole has appeared. I don't know why my college football revamped is a black field for UNLV. Um, I tried rebooting it even a couple times, same issue persists. So I'll have that looked into for at least the next season. But for now, we just send this one out and it looks like we're gonna go down 21-7. Back for some more against Utah State. The Aggies come to town against Salona Beach. Opening drive on defense, so far so good. Third and 16, just can't give up the big one. And that'll do. Utah State already bowl eligible. Man, what a dream it would be to be one of those schools. 
Martin behind the defense. They couldn't react in time. First and 10, coming out slinging again. Brent looks open once more. He has gotten involved early. This quickly become the all Brent show as he's open again for the third catch in a row. Will Brent be the one to take us to the promised land? We want a dub. Going deep, Brent is there. Touchdown, four straight plays to Brent. He cashes in for the big six. Talk about starting a game off with a bang. Going deep for Brent, he's got it. No more Mr. Nice Sponge in this one. Yes, sir. Not even close. Let's spread out the fellas and let's let this thing rip again. I think sheesh. second and 16 after that sack. Let's see if anyone can spring open. Man, relentless pressure from Utah State. And I just don't have time for really anything. Third and two. He's dropping back to pass. Quick out. Sturzer's got it. And he's going to break free. Bought a bullet to more of a zone coverage here. I think that'll help us better rather than the man. And I think that was a good call because that's going to lead them to a fourth down. Second and five. Let's run the read option. Just hand it off to Horde. He gets drilled loses the ball it's going to be really important for us to have a reliable running back going into the future here and i think we're going to have one of those in the recruiting portal definitely proud of this defense on the first four drives as they've held them all short and in a bad scenario holds them to three. Second and 10 rock boston you're open my friend break through and go all the way throw a mean stiffy do what you got to do second and 10 run a little read option yep wave good call keeping it making a move down to third down and two i like how that read option went so i'm gonna do it again and yeah it's gonna work again third and 10 let's do it let's rumble we're gonna drop it out underneath the brent See if we can put a move on, fourth and short. We've played conservative in the past, taking our three points, but look how far that's gotten us. I think we just got to put the pedal to the metal, fourth down, we're going for it. And we're going to go to the slant man. Gaiman had it in his hands, and I don't regret not going for three because you should have caught that ball. A little two-minute drill. Let's get some work in. Oh, now you want to catch the ball. Could have used you a long time ago, my friend. Third and long. Pressure coming in from the defense. Brent Martin drops it. We're going to have to punt this ball back. Risky call here. Fourth down. We're going for it. Perkins secures that bag. First and 10. Dropping back. Underneath, we got Rock Boston. Trying to cut it back up the middle. Fourth and short. Just need something small here. Anything will do but I'm just gonna keep it with my own legs. I can do this and I got the block and I'm gonna put on a move and I'm gonna stay up. I say we take one shot here for the end zone. If not, take our field goal. Okay, we do got one second left and that's for you, Kai. Going up and in. Coming out of the locker room with a 10-3 lead. We also get the ball to start this half as well. Brent breaks free, spins past a couple guys. He has got some yak ability in him. Starting out the second half, like we started the first half, looking for Brent, and he is doing a lot for our offense today. Back to pass, yep, shoulders, there you are. First and 10, the offense is doing its thing. Game in, jumps up for that one, hauls it in, it gets a big 17 yards. Second and 10, sending shoulders in motion. Oh yeah, I see something. I don't know what I saw, but what I saw there was definitely not that. This guy is army crawling on the ground and picks it. I, I have to challenge that again. I tried challenging one of those. I dare you to go right now and look for a clip in real life that someone ever picking a ball like that and show me. Send me a clip of someone picking a ball like this on Instagram and I, I don't know. I'll give you a shout out. I am not a happy camper with that play call and I'm doing it again. I thought we were going to win this game, and I'm, I think I'm single-handedly selling it. The worst thing to do right now would just be to shut down. We have to keep getting it back up. We're breathing all the way through. Breathe with me. Breathing all the way through this defensive stand. Ah, yes. Defense. Oh, get through. Someone tackle that man. We're down. What a change of events in this one. I'm telling you. Third and inches. There's some pressure in my face. Just going to scramble. I should have probably thrown that one off to our running back. They are loading the box on this one. And I see a wide open man streaking down the field. Gaming again. You're selling me, dude. You're, you're got to be gone. I hope you're a senior and you can graduate and go your own way because you are selling the bag. We had something close and it turned out to be a Utah State thumping. Another week, another couple recruits committing to us. So exciting times for the sponges at least for year two of the dynasty but for now it's a dire state 0 and 11 the season finale and senior day for sponge seniors this is the final game of year one for the final game we have a handful of recruits visiting us so it'd be nice to go all out salona beach looking to cap off year one on a positive note we just got to grind and put in a lot of work this game like no other so we can at least say 
we had one win. Here comes Dylan Wave in his final game, a little emotional. The senior transfer from USD, who was a club flag football leader, is definitely hoping to end his career with a collegiate victory. I mean, Wave's gotta go down as one of the all-time greats, right? Like ESPN stats would say he's probably the number one converted flag football player. Third and down, we're gonna drop one out to Perkins makes a play first down third and 11 i think i see a guy yep snipes snipes that one out of the air first down first and 10 play action perkins looks open we're gonna lob one up to him he makes a great play and just rumbles through a couple guys for all the seniors on this team we have got to come alive i don't want to let down our good friend here dylan wave boston says i got you man the freshman tight end gonna be a star in the next couple years for the sponges says dylan Here's for you. Dylan Wave has put his blood, sweat, and tears into this team and a win with just cap it off. First and 10, defense has got to play today if we want to have a chance. And uh, oh my goodness, that was a big play. Cam Brown fills the gap. The flick goes off his back. Salona Beach with a gem of a defensive play here. We recover. This play is worth a second look. The quarterback tries to flick it to his running back. It goes off the player's side. First and 10. Let's get this party started. It's plays like the last one where I'm scared to even trust a running back on this team. You don't see me run the ball very much because I'm scared to trust him. Third and three. Let's drop this one out to Gaiman in the curl. Yep. What a spin. Third and nine. What can we dial up? I'm gonna go out here to the out man. And there just wasn't enough burst on that route. Yeah, right, catch me trying to punt. No, sir. Little bit of a two minute drill needed here. I'm gonna go deep. I will not, I will get sacked. Second and 12, I'm gonna do a QB sprint out. See if anyone gets open, drop it down. Seuli just read me like a book. Quick change of events in this one. We're gonna need to get some offense going fast. Third and three, let's go out to the curl. That's shoulders, and he's gonna break free just a little bit. First and 10, I'm going deep. I see a man, it looks like shoulders. He's got it, what a catch. First and 10, what is it gonna be? Well, Martin for starts, Brent pushing it down to first and goal line. That's one thing that the Salona Beach sponges can promise you is we never give up, no matter the circumstance. Even if we're throwing pick sixes like this, Mir reading that up and wave, thankfully stops him. Third down, second half action. It's honestly kind of a miracle that we're still in this game right now. I'll call the bench. Why not? Shoulders makes the play. Second and 10. Anyone going to spring open? Tight end. Looks like he's got it. Perkins, big touchdown. We're right back in this game. Nevada just sustaining an efficient drive all the way down the field. Big stop here. Cam Brown with the stuff. The junior linebacker has been one of the really only consistent pieces out here on defense. There hasn't been much to really hang your hat on throughout the season and lie to just sheds a man. For six. Going for two because they want to get this game back within seven and we just don't want this to happen at all. And we'll stuff that all day. Down by five, Philip Rivers is trying his very best to send these fans home happy tonight. Now, I don't know what it looks like on paper, but Philip Rivers' fourth down conversion throughout this season probably hasn't been too great, but I guarantee you half of them are because our receivers can't catch the ball or make a play to leap or attempt to catch the ball. Exactly what we didn't want. Maybe I was too aggressive, but hey, we hold a field goal here though, makes it what, a, a bigger deficit? And he's got it. Oh shoot, for a second, I thought this was a two possession game, but now it's only eight points and that means it's one possession. That's a much different story here as we just need a big play or two. Fourth and 19, bro. I'm sorry, Sponge Faithful. If you were hoping for a victory in year one of the inaugural season, you are sorely mistaken. Looks like we're gonna go down and lose. Man, and that is gonna be the smell of defeat. Sean Dollars just takes it in. Dylan Wave in his final snap as a collegiate quarterback is just gonna get sacked. Philip Rivers says, no, hold on, timeout. We can't let the kid go down without throwing one last pass. So here it is. And in iconic fashion, it falls to the ground incomplete and Wave's career is over. Thank you for at least filling in on the roster and leading us to an 0-12 season. We're on to bigger and better things next season. Absolute worst case scenario for the Sponges going 0-12 this season, but hey, it was almost kind of expected when you're 50 overall. It's time to start riding with us now as underdogs, but hey, I don't think that's gonna last for very long. Dylan Wave, 2,300 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, 17 ints. He was sacked 37 times. There is literally nothing to write home about in the rushing department. We didn't have a running back that was very fast or reliable. Our top three receivers were all seniors, so they're gone. 
Brent Martin and Rock Boston, two young guys, are going to have to lead this team forward. LeBron Mallory came away with eight sacks this season. That's nice. And then two picks for Devontae Jean Lewis. Dennis Broxton, our young DB, is going to need to keep hitting the gym art because he's going to have to step up big next year. Phillip Rivers' job security is understandably low at 0 and 12. Tony Hawk is patient enough to still give another season because he believes in the process. Look at all the graduating seniors. My goodness, are we gonna even have a team? Oh man, you're telling me no one got drafted. I'm not as knowledgeable on like point thresholds and how much I really should be pumping to these guys. But all I know is I want the gem defensive end, Alex Brown, he'd fit in right away. And then Mark Wood here, 6'6", six, six, offensive lineman, gem is a must have as well. And then sure, let's pump the rest of the points on Dallas Andrews here, a cornerback from Washington. 62 overall, got some solid stats, at least enough to work with for the team. Okay, with that, let's head to signing day, see how we did. Boom, there we go. Mark Wood, Alex Brown, both come into Salona Beach. And then we did get Dallas Andrews as well. Despite being the worst team in college football, we still managed to pull off the 94th best recruiting class with nine three stars, seven two stars. This is gonna help a lot. Three gems lead the way. Mark Wood, Alex Brown, Brandon Moore. Philip Rivers with the worst job security after that winless season. I think we need at least these three wins to turn that narrative around. The off-season training went well. Brent Martin plus five, Cam Brown plus five, Timmons and Rock Boston plus five. Love to see it. So yeah, the quarterback room, scary. Leaving you all with a sneak peek at what's to come. True freshman Brandon Moore gets some reps at practice. If you made it this far, you're a real one and I appreciate you. So please keep on soaking it up with King Sponge. I got all your college football content to come.